Good afternoon, Coleman Wesleyan Church. I'd like to start with this word that's adapted from Philemon chapter 1. I, Pastor Scott, brother in Christ, along with the brothers and sister of the leadership team here, to you, our Coleman Wesleyan dear friend and fellow workers, and to the church that meets in your home, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your love for all his holy people and your faith in the Lord Jesus. I pray that your partnership with us in the faith may be effective in deepening your understanding of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, my friends, have refreshed the hearts of the Lord's people. Here's our COVID-19 update. We are in an unprecedented time. Never in our lifetime have we seen anything that has parallel the likes of this global pandemic and the reactions that are coming from it. Currently, the CDC has recommended that gatherings of over 50 people be ceased for a time until this pandemic has passed. And our governor yesterday, effective at 9 a.m., has further prohibited the gathering of 50 or more people at least until April 5th at 5 or until further notice. While the recommendations in the letter of the law are allowing some gatherings, it's challenging us with this size of our church body here. While this has not closed all gatherings, I and the Great Lakes region of the Wesleyan Church, the denomination, and your local leadership team feel it's in the best interest to look for alternative means of worship during this time. Last night, our leadership team met to discuss the heightening concerns and best stewardship of everyone's physical health. And at this time, we feel it's in the best interest of the people of our community and those who worship here to move our worship experience online in the following ways. We'll be recording a message and posting it to our YouTube channel for you to use in your Sunday morning worship experience. You can find that message in our YouTube channel by visiting our website, colemanwesleyan.org, and clicking the button that says Messages on our homepage, or by typing in Coleman Wesleyan Church in the search bar of YouTube and finding the channel that way. While you are there, it would be a great opportunity for you to find some of your favorite worship music to include in your time of Sunday morning ex uh, worship experience and the message video will be available for Sunday morning at 10.15, our usual service time. By joining us at that time, though we might be in our own homes, you'll be uniting with other worshipers of Christ who typically gather at Coleman Wesleyan Church, and we'll worship that way through music, prayer, message, and giving. To continue to worship through your giving of tithes and offerings at this time, please consider one of three ways. You can visit our website, colemanwesleyan.org, and push the Give button. You can give by texting an amount uh, to the number 84321 and following the screens. Uh, third, you can mail your check into the church office at 110 West Webster Street in Coleman at 48618. For the rest of the days throughout the week, please know that many of you may be contacted by your fellow Sunday school teachers or ministry leaders. They want to encourage you through phone or email, notes, or maybe a text. As you move out of your Sunday morning worship experience, please continue to be a effective ministers of the gospel by praying for, for and, and helping others. Pray for the COVID-19 virus to be eradicated from existence. Pray for those battling viruses like COVID-19 and influenza. Pray for the elderly and those who are more susceptible to these viruses to be protected. And check in on your family members, your friends, your neighbors. Regularly ask them how they're doing. Uh, if there's something that uh, you might be able to do for them during this time. It might be as simple as prayer, or buying a couple of groceries for someone who can't make it to the store. And always, always reflect Christ during this time. And go be the church. Be wise by practicing social distancing when appropriate. And use the recommended hygiene. Wash your hands often. And sanitize areas more often uh, that are used. And, and in closing, I want to pray this way. I ask the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you a spirit of peace strong uh, boldness to share the love of Christ until all have heard and all have received. I look forward to seeing you online.